because of this realization that uh, early uh, dietary treatment from newborn screening was effective in PKU, uh, researchers, uh, metabolic uh, uh, individuals, people who were uh, knowledgeable of metabolic disease, um, began to ask the question, uh, are there other inborn errors of metabolism other than PKU that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, were in the same category as PKU, in the same category in a sense that they caused uh, severe problems, mental retardation, uh, even early death, uh, and uh, could be identified in the newborn period if there were a newborn screen for that disease, and uh, could be early treated and, and the complications prevented. Uh, maple syrup urine disease was suggested as one of those diseases. Neonatal disease that causes mental retardation, severe ketoacidosis, there's this very rather well-known uh, maple syrup odor use, most barman in the ear. Uh, and there was plenty of blood remaining in the newborn specimen after the one or two discs were removed for simply PKU uh, screening. So Guthrie developed a bacterial assay, really a modification of his PKU assay, uh, that responded to leucine, the amino acid that's elevated in maple syrup urine disease, and indeed uh, babies with maple syrup urine disease uh, were discovered in those screening programs that added the leucine assay to their phenylalanine assay. For, uh, and uh, here is a picture of uh, my friend Paul uh, with maple syrup urine disease discovered in newborn screening. Uh, He's, uh, uh, he's, he's a bit of a wise guy, but, uh, but he's certainly not mentally retarded. Um, another inborn error metabolism that was in that category is homocystinuria, produces mental retardation, ectopia lentis, that is dislocation of the ocular lenses, osteoporosis, uh, 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 softening, thinning of the bones, and thromboembolism, uh, blood clotting. These are three individuals, young ladies with homocystinuria, showing the clinical manifestations. And Guthrie, um, methionine is the elevated amino acid in homocystinuria. Guthrie modified his assay now, bacterial assay, so that it responded to methionine. And that could be added to newborn screening, as it was in a few states. Uh, uh, and here are two individuals, a brother and a sister, with homocystinuria. Uh, the sister on the left-hand side, as you look at the screen, has the clinical complications of homocystinuria because she was born before newborn screening, and her brother was identified newborn screening, early treated with a lomothionine diet, and uh, is certainly uh, a far uh, better off. Then a few years later uh, came congenital hypothyroidism. Now, congenital hypothyroidism was a disease well known uh, to physicians uh, as a, um, uh, uh, not a genetic disease, but still a, a disease involving uh, a defect in the production of thyroid hormone so that these individuals uh, became mentally retarded, they had coarse facies, they were hypotonic, uh, they had uh, growth delay. And uh, the group in, in uh, Canada, really, uh, beginning in California, but then the group in Canada developed uh, a, a, back, a radioimmunoassay, uh, which was, uh, you, uh, could be used for the measurement of, of thyroxine, a thyroid hormone, um, and low thyroxine indicated and does indicate uh, the presence of congenital hypothyroidism in the newborn. Uh, the radiumine assay was a bit of a more difficult test uh, to perform in laboratories than, uh, than the back simple bacterial assays, but it worked. And congenital hypothyroidism was identified in the newborn period in many, many babies. As a matter of fact, congenital hypothyroidism turned out to be more frequent than PKU. These babies had been placed on, uh, on thyroid uh, supplement, uh, uh, replacement therapy, and, and, they're, uh, and they're fine, as illustrated here by uh, this little baby.